Hi, I'm Megan Walker and welcome to the letter P in the A to Z of real-time marketing. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit interesting because I can only go so far with it and that is the push notifications. So we'll walk through what I can walk through, but ultimately unless you have an app of your own, unless your company has an app that your um, customers download and then use, you're not going to be able to use push notifications. So push notifications, if you think about if you use um, LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook and you get a notification that shows up on your phone, like in the top or, or wherever, depending on the type of phone you use, that's a push notification. So you have to have an app of your own that you can add the push notification to and I don't so <laughs> there's no way around it so we'll walk through what we can so let's have a look okay so if we notice first of all we're in the settings area and we have push notifications over here in customer engagement and so we can get to it from down here as well so if I go into push notifications so Similar if you watched uh, the letter D about delivering text messages, we had to set up the text message provider. So if I go into the push notifications and I set up a new mobile app configuration, this is where we stop in terms of this portion of the video. So we can see here that it says very clearly, before you start, you will need an existing mobile application on either an iOS app store or Google Play to set up push notifications. If you don't have that, that's it, end of. You, you don't do anything with this. If you do, that's awesome, then you know that you can go ahead and actually use this. So once you had set up the app, you'd be able to go and get the correct information, you'd have authentication information, that type of stuff. So you'd fill out all of these fields, save it, and that would be your app configuration. So what we can do is if I go into the real-time marketing area, I can go into push notifications, and just like with a text message and an email, I can set up a new push notification. So I can I can do this piece of it. So let's say that um, we have one where uh, we want to send out some kind of notification when a case is closed. So if I do um, case closure push. So I can say what's the title. Now as we're building this we can see in our little sort of panel over on the right we can see a screenshot of iOS or what it might look like on Android. So this is just a preview. It's not necessarily 100% accurate. It could be slightly different on different phones. But I'm going to say um, thank you. And then I'm going to do a subtitle and say, um, please send us your feedback. I can then also, if I wanted to, I can do the personalization like we have on an email and a text. So for this, I might want to put somebody's first name in there. So say, first name, please send us your feedback. So Jane, please send us your feedback. So let's just wait for this to load. Okay, so I'm going to select a data field. I'm just going to go ahead and type in first name. And then we're going to put in that first name's contact, uh, sorry, the first name from the contact um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and save it so I might say first name comma please send us your feedback and then what's the message so with this I might say um, ah. <laughs> so now what we've got is on click behavior so this we can either say open the app so when somebody gets the notification are they opening the app are they opening a browser so if i just leave it as open in the app that's fine open the browser <clears throat> excuse me what link are they going to in the browser but the coolest one to me is open customer voice survey so when i do that i can then say okay well which survey am i opening so actually this might be not necessarily about case this might be um, thanks for attending our event, let us know your thoughts. So then, when they go ahead and they click on the notification, that's going to then take them to that survey and customer voice, and then get them to fill it out. So, that's as far as I can take it. I can click on ready to send, which makes it available then, so that if I'm creating a customer journey, so if I go into a journey, 
and let's just do a quick one. So from a journey, let's just go with a um, uh, a trigger um, and then put in a date. So instead of doing an email or a text message, I can do send a push notification and then I can look for my push notifications. But because I haven't been able to set up the mobile app in the configuration area and settings, that's it. I, I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. And we'll notice now we've got this error because we don't have the mobile app that we're pushing it out to. So, sorry that I don't have a mobile app of my own, I had to stop there, but at least I can show you that set up the configuration settings area, create your push notifications in the channel section, and then you can go ahead and use it in your journey. So based on a trigger of some kind, then that will push out to somebody's mobile app, um, to somebody's mobile phone that has the app installed on it and give them a push notification. So let me know what you think. Are you even in the position where you'd be able to use this? Do you have a mobile app at the organization you work for? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious how many people actually are going to be able to take advantage of this. So thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.